matter the misconception which most of the non Muslims have in the mind about Islam is that, that is why a Muslim man is allowed to marry more than one wife. The concept of polygamy and the definition of polygamy is known as anyone, a person having more than one spouse. And this polygamy is again divided into two parts, polygyny and polyandry. Limited polygyny is allowed in Islam, but polygyny, polyandry is completely prohibited in Islam. <coughs> polygyny means a man marrying more than one wife. Islam permits polygyny, but limited. And polyandry, in this, a woman marries more than one husband. And polyandry is completely prohibited in Islam. The Luris Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which says marry only one. If you read the other religious scriptures of the world, if you read the Bible, the Talmudic law, in this, Abraham, he had three wives. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in 1 Kings, chapter 11, verse number 3, that Solomon, he had 700 wives and 300 concubines. If you read the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in Mahabharata, section number 15, that Krishna, the lord of Hindus, he married how many wives? Can you guess? Can you guess? Three guesses, three chances. But the, the, the brother was closer, but you, you, you missed the zero. It was 16,108 wives. <laughs> Krishna, he married 16,108 wives. When Krishna can marry 16,108 wives, then what do you have a problem when Muslims marry more than one? We marry more than one, not because Krishna married 16,108 wives, we have our own reasons for that. There was a survey, an article, which came on the status of women in Islam in the year 1975. The article said that in a span of 10 years, from 1951 to 1961, there was 5.06% of polygamous marriages done by the Hindus and 4.31% of polygamous marriages done by the Muslims. In these 10 years, Hindus were more polygamous when compared to the Muslims. In India, a non-Muslim is not allowed to marry more than one wife. It was after the Hindu Marriage Act law was passed in the year 1984. This has put the upper limit in the number of marriages. It said that no non-Muslim living in India you should marry another wife. Otherwise, the religious scriptures of other religions, it does not put any upper limit on number of marriages. As I have mentioned earlier, that the Glorious Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which says Marry only one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Bible Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 3, Allah says, Marry women of your choice, in twos, threes, or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Bible Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 129, Allah says, Verily it is difficult for you to do justice between your wives. Marrying more than one, many of the non Muslims, many of the Muslims, even the Muslim brothers, they think it is for the Islam. Marrying more than one is not for the Islam. There are five categories of do's and don'ts in Islam. The first is fard, the compulsory category. The second is the mustahab, the highly encouraged category. The third is the mubah, the optional category. The fourth is the makru, the discouraged category. And the fifth one is the haram category, the prohibited category. Marrying more than one, it comes under the category of mubah. It is optional. If you want to marry, you can marry. But you will not be rewarded something extra for that. It is optional. If you look from the periodic age itself, if you talk about the logic, from the periodic age itself, the men, the male child and the female child, they are born in the equal proportion. Then as life grows, the female child can fight germs more when compared to the male child. If you ask a doctor, he will tell you that the female child can fight germs when more when compared to the male child. Then I, as they grow up, more men die because of cigarette smoking, more men die because of alcoholism, more men die because of accidents, more men die because of wars. So the population of women, it kept on increasing and the population of men, it kept on decreasing. India is one among the few countries 
and the neighboring countries where the population of male is more than compared to the female. And there is a reason behind that. The reason is that in India, every year, more than 1 million females have deaths aborted after they are identified that they are females. If this evil practice stops in India and the neighboring countries like China, then India will be among the same countries where the population of female is more when compared to the male. If you look at the studies of America, in America, there are 25 million females more than male. Out of the 25 million females of America, in New York alone, there are 1 million females more than male. And out of the 1 million females in New York alone, who are more when compared to the male, one third of the New York population, they are gays. They are sodomites, homelut, who don't wish to marry a woman. In Britain alone, there are 4 million females more than male. In Germany alone, there are 9 million females more than male. In Russia alone, there are 10 million females more than male. And Allah alone knows how many more number of more females are there in this world. If we assume a situation in America, that in America, the market is saturated. Every man has found a partner for himself. And your sister or my sister happens to be one of the unfortunate women who lives in America. And the market is saturated. Every man has found a partner for himself. There will be only two options left for your sister or my sister. Either to marry a man who already had a wife or to become public property. One may say public property. Brother Asif, how can you use such a harsh word? My dear brothers and sisters, I did not find a much sophisticated word than this word. There are only two options left. Either to marry a man who already had a wife or to become public property. In the Western society, where a man is allowed to have as many mistresses as he wants, but the Western society does not allow a man to keep more than one wife. If a man marries more than one wife, this thing doesn't go down the road. Why? In Islam, when a man marries more than one woman, then he has to give all the rights and respect which he gives to the first wife. There could be many other reasons why Islam allows more than one wife, but the major reason is to protect the modesty of the woman. 